Our guests and his organizations are working hard for you and I, working hard for the people. They're kicking ass, taking names, getting people fired, saved drivers in this country over $800 million, getting rid of red light cameras and all these other stupid ways that they're trying to dig into our pockets. And he's having a hell of a lot of fun poking his finger in the eye of the establishment. Sean Dow joining us on the program, Campaign for Liberty, the director for Arizona and the war on driving dot com. Peep, Sean, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Jerry. Good to be with you. Boy, you're on fire tonight, aren't you? I'm in a mood. I, I'm I'm sleep deprived because I went to a party last night at the Palms. A buddy of mine's moving back to Morocco after being in Vegas for seventeen years. And I always have this like five and two mentality, five days a week, the body's a temple, two days a week, it's an amusement park. And usually the amusement park's open on the weekends, but he's a good <laughs> friend. And I figured I'll go. And I said, when's the party start? He goes, 930. I'm like, PM? He goes, yeah. I go, that's, that's my bedtime, dude. So I didn't get to bed till one o'clock in the morning. I've been up for over 24 hours. So I don't know. Maybe I should do that more often. Yeah, I'm going to say, let's keep you uh, partying hard because uh, I like you when you're mad at the, at the politicians. Yeah, but the problem is most people are mad as hell, but they will take it some more. You know, everybody bitches and moans about Congress, but they vote them back in. Everybody bitches and moans about the airlines, but they, they still fly. Everybody bitches and moans about whatever, but they, 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 they seem to go uh, with the flow. Uh, you guys uh, don't. Well, you do bitch and moan, and I like it in a in a productive way. But you see things out there that are happening, and you just say, no, 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 not on my watch. Before you came on, I was talking about D.C. issuing over a million dollars worth of parking tickets to people who got plowed in <laughs> during, this, during Snowmageddon. And I'm like, these people, they just don't care. And with regard to what we're seeing in the latest that you have up at Epic Times, Arizona lawmaker pushes for a $750 photo ticket, obviously, they don't care. And this is a Republican that wants your money and your car? It is. It was It was a group of Republicans that actually signed our survey and, and promised to be against the use of photo enforcement. And instead what they did was uh, they, they decided that it would be beneficial to them by raising the fines to $750, then they would no longer get a cut of $16.50 to go directly into the politicians' pockets. They would get a cut of $75 per ticket going directly into the politicians' pocket. Wow. And, and then are some people actually contemplating or fearful of driving and thinking about maybe they just won't drive anymore? I mean, I know the environmentalists right now are doing cartwheels because we're going to save a polar bear or two. But there are people that are actually just saying, uh, this is this is absurd, I, I, I'm just not going to drive. I mean, that, that no, seems to be... No, what actually happened was as soon as we let the Campaign for Liberty members know that the politicians were doing this, they bombarded the politicians with phone calls, emails, and social media uh, messages demanding that they reverse course. And within one day... The politicians killed the bill to raise the fine to seven hundred and fifty dollars, and instead filed a bill to completely ban the cameras. So, if you're mad at them, call at them, yell at them, tell them what you want. If enough of you gather together, they'll do what you want. This this bill was just, uh, I mean, egregious in so many ways. Vehicle owners, not the person driving, would be held liable for photo tickets in Arizona, even if they never received the citation or weren't behind the wheel. So someone could steal your car, get hit with one of these flashes, and you as the owner of the stolen car would probably get a ticket for 750 bucks, right? Yes, and if you didn't pay it under this new law, they would seize your vehicle. Uh, you wouldn't be able to register your vehicle. You wouldn't be able to sell your vehicle. Uh, none of these things. You'd be responsible for any of the things. And, and, and corporations would be, <laughs> people that drive company vehicles who would be under uh, enormous uh, pressure and, and fines to uh, protect the companies because the companies aren't going to pay these fines. So it, it gets into a real nasty thing. They want to shift the liability to the owner of the vehicle. Uh, they don't want to have to take pictures of the drivers anymore. They, they can eliminate their cameras by half if they do it this way. And here in Arizona, you don't have to pay your ticket. You can just throw it in the trash. That would that would no longer be the case. Now they would be able to seize your vehicle or deny you vehicle registration. And part of this bill was, if I understand this correctly, 
potentially up to 5,000 more cameras would be added in Arizona by enticing school districts into attaching them to school buses because it's all about the kids, right? We want the kids to be safe. We don't want people to be... To me, children are a gateway to your compassion. They always use the kid, right? They always they, they want to they want 11 million people to get amnesty. And, and whether they should or shouldn't, that's not the discussion. The discussion is about how they use kids. Remember when they had all those little mijos rounded up at the border? Miho has the sniffles, Miho has the cold, Miho's miserable, Miho doesn't have food, Miho's in prison. And then they went there and they took pictures and all the Mijos were smiling and laughing. This is the nicest place they've lived in in their entire lives. You go down to Mexico, it's a hellhole. It's just it's it's a wasteland. They, but they do they, try to use they do try to use the children and 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 they that's what they're saying is by installing the cameras on every school bus will help protect the children. But what they don't tell you is that two thirds of every school bus stop accident where a child is hurt, it, it's the school bus driver who does it. It's not us, the drivers. Nobody wants to drive and hurt a kid, but they're using that so they can install these cameras so they can make money. That's their whole goal. They would actually be better off if they loaded up all those school kids and drove them down to the prison and let them meet Karen Finley and teach them a real lesson about lying and cheating and fraud and bribery. <laughs> uh, Karen Finley is the president of the photo enforcement company who was just uh, convicted of all of those charges. Nice. Now, how much have you, is it $800 million or more that you've saved drivers across the country with all the efforts of Campaign for Liberty and War on Driving, et cetera? Yeah, and just canceled contracts alone, we're well over $1 billion that we've saved the American driver. Nice. Do you, do you have a, a, a flag jacket? Because that, that, that's a lot of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and money is the mother's milk of politics. These politicians it, go, who's, It's who's not this? our job to fear our government. It's our government's job to fear us. Right? And, and we say that in a political sense, not in a physical violence sense. But, you know, the problem is, Sean is that they don't fear us. It's like when I watch those Nat, Nat Geo shows and you see all the wildebeests that are going down to the river, you know the crocodile's coming out, right? But there's always one or two stupid wildebeests that get a little bit too close, hang around a little bit too long, snap. They put them in the death roll. The wildebeest disappears. The rest of the wildebeest scatter, and they, recon, they, they reconfigure themselves somewhere else. And then they look around, and they go, what happened to Wally? Wally the wildebeest is gone. What happened to, to Stu? Stu, the, he's gone too. But then the rest of the wildebeest go, well, we're still here. So, all right, we're good. That's that's Congress. That's re-elections. 96% re-election rate in the House, 93% re-election rate in the Senate. So Congress has a 14% approval rating. That's what we give them, lower than lice. At least I can count on lice to do what lice does. But the real number that they get is 96 and 93 so we may pick off 10, 20, 30, 40 Democrat, Republican, whatever institutional douchebags that are out there. But the majority of the political wildebeest are still there. And when they have that safety in numbers, they don't fear us. They don't fear us at the electorate. You're absolutely right. And what people need to do is they need to go to campaignforliberty.org and they need to learn how to be effective at politics. We teach everybody all across the country what we do. And we make the politicians, instead of the people fearing them, we make the politicians fear us. And we make them act the way we want or we remove them and replace them. And we've had a lot of fun over the last few years doing this. I know you've been watching and the whole world's watching and seeing what we're doing. Get involved. Stop just laying there whining and complaining. Instead, get mad and get even. I like it. And have fun along the way. And what I like about this is that it's at the local level. You know, a lot of people are looking at this presidential election and they're like, oh, Donald Trump's the political messiah or Bernie Sanders is the political messiah or, Hillary, or whoever is the political messiah. And once that political messiah gets sworn in January 20th of 2017, they're going to put together their posse. And that posse is going to be the cavalry that rides to my rescue. And if it was up to them to get rid of these red light cameras... It was up to them to do what you guys have been successful at doing. There wouldn't be a decrease in a billion dollars that you save drivers from these operations. There would probably be four or five times that that drivers would be charged in the time that they supposedly get around to doing something 
about finding a solution to the problem. What you guys do is foundational, foundational bottom-up fixes. We don't need these people in Washington, D.C. What we need is people and organizations like yours that are doing it on a local and state level, that are taking it upon themselves to be the answer, to be the solution to the problem, and not wait for these supposed you know, political messiahs to solve our problems for us. Because they don't, they won't, and they only make it worse. You're absolutely right. One person at a national level really can't get much accomplished. But one person at their local town level or city level can do amazing things. When given the right tools, there's nothing they can't accomplish. So they just Karen, have to get mad and get out there. Yeah, Karen Finley, she's the, she's in she's starring in Orange is the New Black political uh, show. <laughs> she is, yes. Uh, we now have five convictions, uh, with the latest one being Rahm Emanuel's right-hand man. Uh, he was He's going to be sentenced here on May 5th to about 20 years. He was convicted on 20 counts of fraud, bribery, uh, all kinds of nasty things that they did to install these cameras. Nice. So five... $2 million in cash they gave him to install the cameras in Chicago, and now he's doing 20 years. Well, that's just called business as usual, right? That's, that, that's, that, that's the way they do it. I mean, I, I look at how rich these politicians get when they leave politics. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like Denny Hastert, you know, uh, he, he didn't have much money until he left Congress. And while he was in Congress, he got tipped off that there was going to be a highway, which was going to need an interchange and probably a Stuckey's and an Exxon gas station. So who, he bought this piece of property in the middle of nowhere for like eight bucks. And then lo and behold, we're going to put this freeway in and we're going to need this interchange. And he flipped that thing for like $3 million in a weekend. He's not any smarter than the rest of us. He's not any more insightful than the rest of us. He just has the right information. And that's how all these tools on the Hill make all their money, because they know what's going to happen. You're right. And, and that's exactly what these tools did. These politicians listened to Karen Finley. The whole story about these cameras are about safety came from these same people who are in prison. <laughs> they keep pushing it out because they just keep making so much money. Even though the numbers prove them wrong every single time, these things increase accidents. They've been ruled unconstitutional all across the country. They keep saying that it's for the children when it's really about their pocketbooks. Absolutely. And, you know, I hear Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail talking about, I fought for health care reform back when my husband was president, and we were vital in getting the state children's health insurance program pushed through. For who? The kids. And the kids are the gateway to compassion, and S-CHIP leads us to what? The train wreck known as Obamacare. They start with the kids. It, 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 and, unfortunately, I've seen it too many times. So I have a compassion callus, and it takes a lot to cut through that compassion callus to where I actually start to feel something. I don't want us as a nation to grow a compassion callus because we are a compassionate, kind, and giving nation. But these people certainly help us to grow them to the degrees that we do. But when you when you boil it all down, we're good, hardworking, kind, decent people, regardless of political affiliation. We just want a fair shot, you know? We just we want a chance at reaching for the brass ring. We want a shot at the American dream. We want the opportunity to succeed or fail. We want the right to be happy or sad. And we want the right of self determination. But these people have determined for us in their minds that they know better than we do what we need for us. And I think it's long time past we do something about it. You keep letting the people know these these values, Jerry, and I think we're going to be all right in the long run, brother. I do, I do too. Sean Dow, keep fighting the good fight. Campaignforliberty.org, folks. Check it out. Sign up. Be a part of the solution rather than the perpetuation of the problem. And keep up on all the information on what they're doing to get rid of these red light cameras and these tickets. And uh, you can do that at their website, warondriving.com. Campaignforliberty.org. WarOnDriving.com. Bookmark it, favor it, visit it, get involved. Speaking of visiting, sorry we couldn't connect the last time you were in Las Vegas.